Good morning. It's day 58. Oh. Well, it's day 58, quarter after 10, and we're just getting going. I'm with Ketchup and three other ladies. I don't know how long I will stick with them, but starting out together anyway. It's hot out, but not like scorching hot, so that's nice. And uh, 17 miles to the next water source, and I'm probably going to go 10 to 12 today. I don't want to push it too hard. I've taken four days off to rest my feet and heal my body, and I'm still in quite a bit of pain, so yeah. I'm not sure how this is going to go. Three point three miles. And I'm gonna turn around and go back to the highway and go back to town. Every every step's a struggle and a lot of pain. And I don't wanna be out here crying all the time. I don't want to force my body to do something that it I can't do. I think I might have slipped a disc or something when I fell in Baden Powell that haven't been right since and it's only getting worse. So and it's putting a lot of pressure on my hips, which really hurts when climbing and my legs have nothing left in them. They're so weak. And I uh, took a breather earlier and almost fainted, so there's something not right. And um, I don't like to quit, so this is really hard. But I've been crying more than I haven't been out here. So, yeah, I think, I think my journey here might be over. So, yeah, I'm gonna go back to town and <sighs> and think about it. <laughs> Hi guys, um, I wanted to do an update. I know I left off very upset and kind of abruptly yesterday. So I wanted to go over what's happened since then. So as you know, I made the decision to go back to Tehachapi. I made it 3.33 miles yesterday and felt like it was unsafe and unwise for me to continue going forward. I could have forced myself to, but the way I was feeling, I felt very strongly like if I kept going, I was going to get to a point where I couldn't probably go forward and 
then I'm putting myself in a position where I would need to hit the SOS button and I didn't want to do that. So as I cried on the mountainside, I called my mom <coughs> and got her opinion as well, which was turn around and go back to town. So that's what I did. And it actually took me quite a while to get back to the trailhead. Um, I was in a lot of pain and I felt very defeated. Um, but Trail Angel Richard picked me up and he is a retired military, retired EMT. Um, so he immediately was asking how I felt, what was wrong, what did I need? And he took me to the hospital. So I spent the afternoon in the hospital in Tehachapi. Um, I got x-rays done on my back, um, my spine. And they determined that um, nothing was broken, which was good, um, but that I had a lot of inflammation on my spine. And that was um, causing pressure in my hips that I was feeling. And basically, stop hiking, <laughs> stop carrying weight. <laughs> um, so, um, yeah, so that, I mean, it was good news that there's nothing, I was concerned that I might have damaged a disc and that's still a slight possibility, but, um, yeah, I want, kind of wanted to rule out anything major, including that. So anyway, I ended up, they gave me some drugs that made me pretty loopy. So I went back to the Best Western Plus for last night, <clears throat> and uh, I contacted Diane and Dr. Bill, as well as uh, Ken and Gina. They were the couple that I met um, when I saw Dr. Bill the first time, and I let them know what was going on. Um, Diane picked me up this morning and took me back to see Dr. Bill who gave me another treatment and um, kind of confirmed what the hospital said. He doesn't think that I have a damaged disc yet, um, but had I kept going, that was definitely a possibility. So it was the right thing to do to turn around and come back. Um, and basically he feels like I've got the equivalent of a sprained ankle only in my spine. So the fall that I took in Baden Powell, um, had I stopped and taken some time to heal then, I'd probably be okay now. <clears throat> but because I didn't, and then just the physical activity of what I'm doing, hiking every day, having that pack on my back, and all that pressure and impact day after day, it was basically just uh, taking that sprain and compounding pressure on the lower lumbar of my spine to the point where I can't ignore it anymore. It's like an, a sprained ankle that's now um, impacting my ability to walk. So he has advised that I take four days of basically just laying down as much as possible taking it easy. He's given me a lot of anti-inflammatory um, things to take and some exercises and whatnot. So what does that mean for me and where the heck am I? Where, what is this? <coughs> so I'm currently staying in Gina and Ken's guest house. They have a separate private suite above their detached garage. And they are offering it to me for as long as I need. Which is pretty amazing. And uh, um, two days ago I was a complete stranger to them. And they hadn't even really heard or didn't know a whole lot about what the PCT was. It's not like they bring in PCT hikers all the time. So I feel incredibly blessed to be here. I think it was very generous of them to take in a complete stranger who was in need of a place to stay, a person who was in need of help. So yeah, I, uh, I feel very blessed to be here. So I have this beautiful suite with my own kitchen and everything 
for the next few days. So this is where I'm going to hang out while I'm still in Tehachapi. And then my mom is going to come down and we're going to hang out together for a couple weeks and just vacation and I'm going to take it easy while I'm with her. And then I'm going to go to Reno and stay with Jody, and she's offered me to stay with them for a week or two as well. So I've been given the gift of time. This kind of injury could easily take somebody off trail and take them off permanently because, you know, where else, wh where could I go? <laughs> you know, to give my spine the time that it needs. And ironically, I was going to take this many weeks off after I got to Kennedy Meadows anyway. But my body just decided, nope, I don't have another 140 miles in me. <laughs> you need this break now. So I feel very blessed that I've been given this gift of time, the time to heal, to see if I can go back to trail in a few weeks' time or not. Um, I wasn't ready to call it quits completely and permanently yet, um, so this offers me that time to see if my back will heal enough that I can keep going, and I'm definitely praying that it will. I'm not ready to end this hike. I am disappointed that I'm not going to get to walk into Kennedy Meadows. I really wanted to finish the desert section, but... Far Out considers the desert section over in Tehachapi, so according to Far Out, I did complete the desert, so there you go. But yeah, I am disappointed I won't be walking into Kennedy Meadows, but that's okay. You know, I'm disappointed that I'm not doing the Sierra this year, too. So this journey is, it's panning out how it's supposed to be panning out. I've learned the art of pivoting, and this is just another aspect of pivoting. It's not what I wanted, but that's what's being handed to me. And so I'm going to take this as a gift. And then um, should my body feel good enough to come back to trail, then I will in, you know, three to five weeks time. I think I'm going to skip up to Oregon and do Oregon and Washington. Um, I'm tired of California. <laughs> California has been amazing and wonderful, but my body is tired of the desert. It's so tired of the hard ground. I need softer surfaces, so I may not get that in Oregon, but I'm praying that I'll get that in Washington, but yeah. So that's, that's where I'm at. I am on a three to five week hiatus, um, and I will be skipping a large section of California, if not the remainder of California. I did want to do NorCal, um, but I'm going to have to see how I feel and what the snow is like and who I can hike with. That is another aspect of this that I have been really struggling with. Um, I really thought that I would find someone in the first few weeks that I would click with and hike the majority of this trail with and that hasn't happened um i did have that fam the trail family for a while and love them all and i love everyone else that i've met and hiked with but it's different to be hiking in and around people it's different to join someone for a section but knowing that that's all it's going to be um so even though I'm surrounded by people, I'm still very alone and I'm lonely. And when I don't feel good, that loneliness really is amplified. I don't have anyone to distract me. I don't have anyone to encourage me to keep going. Um, so I, get, I really get in my head. And then the pain that I'm in just becomes worse because I can't get out of my head about it. So I'm really hoping that when I restart... I'll have found somebody that I can restart with that I can hike the remainder of this journey with and make, you know, wonderful memories with. I'm, yeah, I didn't, I never really intended to do this solo or to do this so on my own. 
Um, yeah, and it makes me sad that I haven't found anybody that wants to do this with me. <laughs> oh. So there you go. But, yeah. I don't want to minimize or depreciate the friendships that I have made because I have made some wonderful friendships out here and I truly do love them and appreciate the times that I have been with them. But yeah, I do hope that going forward I can find someone that um, is a good match to hang out with every day and wants to do the same kind of miles and the same kind of time frame and whatnot. And yeah really do this thing together so we'll see but in the meantime this is my life I am going to <coughs> be vacationing for the next three to five weeks and I'm really excited about that I even went to Walmart and bought myself some new clothes because <laughs> I didn't want to wear my hanky clothes for the next five weeks <laughs> so anyway I will keep you all updated, and yeah, like I said, I really hope that I can get back on trail. I hope that this is not the end of my journey. Um, I don't, I don't believe in my heart that it is. I do think that God is going to heal me, and He's going to provide me a way to keep going. So, I hope that you all pray that for me too. And uh, yeah, I'll keep you posted. Bye.